last year. All right. The Ole Miss Rebels. Five and seven last year. One and seven in the conference. Returning starters, they've got three on offense, which is what this entire team was built around last year. They've got eight back on defense. Experience returning is number 106 in the country, number 12 in the conference. They're over under, at least at Caesars, back a couple of months ago, whatever it was, when the line came out, was four and a half. The over was minus 170. The under was plus 150. So Vegas thought it was much more likely that they hit five wins as opposed to like four or three. Head coach Matt Luke, 11 and 13 in two years. He brought in offensive coordinator Rich Rodriguez and defensive coordinator Mike McIntyre, two basically head coaches. Um, like two they good both, head they coaches, both, too. They both like got I... released from their jobs, but... Mm, one of them a little different circumstance than the other. Yes, very much Rich, so. Rich Rod's never been fired. Okay. Oh, no, he got, he well, was he got fired, fired, but yeah. it was... Well, th- it wasn't not for because coaching. of... Yeah, it wasn't because of coaching. We'll say that. We'll say it. We're not going to go any further than that. Uh, the depth is this year's problem, right? Uh, the entire offense is inexperienced talent. Wide receiver Elijah Moore... Lost, lost a lot of talent to the NFL. Oh, yes. Uh, Elijah Moore needs to step up at wide receiver, um, and I, I suspect... I suspect that he will. Yep. Quarterback Matt Corral should uh, should fit Rich Rod's scheme pretty well. He can run and he can throw. He's a pretty accurate passer. Uh, he's looked good in practice. He looked pretty good in, in some relief spots last year. He obviously redshirted last year. Um, defense has more experience, uh, but way less playmakers than the offense. They were number 113 in scoring defense, number 127 uh, or no, 121. Sorry, I can't even read my own right now. Total uh, offense. Mike McIntyre is installing a 3-4 scheme. I, I don't know if the personnel fits for them. Uh, the offense is going to lean on quarterback Corral and running back Scotty Phillips. Now, Scotty Phillips could be overtaken. We'll see. They had talent the last two years, but replacing all of that offensive talent with these NCAA probation-sanctioned recruiting classes is where the problem comes in because where you had, you know, some four and five star guys before you're replacing those guys with like two and like upper end three star guys. It's tough. You're, you're so, starting to feel the effects of Hugh being gone, who was an exceptional recruiter. Yes. And the lack of scholarship and, yeah. and, and the, yeah, the probation penalties. This yep. is where it starts hurting. It's never year one. No, it's, it's long term And, Look, I, I think Ole Miss still has some talent. I, I think that Corral can be really good. Uh, I've got them at five and seven. I've got them two and six in the conference. Uh, you know, I think they lose at Memphis week one, but I think they beat you, Arkansas. You think they beat Cal though? Yes, I think they. Uh, I think they beat Arkansas, beat Southeastern Louisiana, beat Cal. I think they beat Vanderbilt. I think they beat New Mexico State, and I think that's it. Yep. So we're we're, we're similar there. I think Cal. Might get them. It wouldn't surprise me. What uh? What have you got? Four and eight. Here, Four and, eight. and here's my here's my thing. This is the one team I don't know anything about because yeah. I I really like their coordinators. Yeah, I really I mean, like the coordinators. But, but how is that dynamic going to work with uh with their coach? Right. I don't know I mean, that. that don't that's the clue. issue. Like, it, does Matt Luke just he's the CEO and he just lets them do whatever they want to, or does he step in when something's not going exactly right? I got and, no idea. And then it becomes a clash of. This is my offense, you know, get out of here. Or this is my defense, get out of here. Like, those two guys are used to being head coaches. They're being in charge. And now... I also see both of them competing for, as soon as this probationary thing is over with... They want to take over the Matt Luke has sat in this seat for a while, and he's an Ole Miss guy that got us through. But if I do really well on my side of the ball, I I can take the big chair again. And and so that's something else that I think is is a part of this, which could end up turning the, into yes. a just a complete collapse from within, or or it could could like work push, out really it, well. Yeah, it could push everybody like, to. be I was better. just about to say, if both of them are just bringing just a less competition, even though they don't have the talent. Hey, man, Rich Rod's been known to to uh, develop some kids. develop kids, and same thing with McIntyre. I mean that. They could be the surprise team of the SEC. I don't know what that means. Does that mean they go six and six surprise team? I think six or, and six is. I mean, remember they're the over under is uh, four and a half. That's right. So and the oh, over, no, no, no. The over not, is minus. When I say it's a surprise, it's a surprise. I mean, uh, well, but the over yeah. is like minus one seventy. So the juice is pretty high there. They think yeah. they're going to go over four and a half wins. Like 
six and six, I don't think would surprise me. I think, you know, you go seven and five, eight and four, like then you're going, okay, this was a masterful That's coaching right. job. But who do you give the credit to? Like, well, it's, therein lies the problem. If they both do really well, do you did, give the credit did, to did, Coach did, Luke did, for did staying Matt, out of the did, way? Does Matt does Matt Luke get the credit for it? And then both of them are thinking, ah, oh, shit. That's you know? the, yeah, that's what, the issue. What happened?